Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install Steam on Linux Mint 18.3. I'm gonna, you can install it via the software repo, which is, there's two options, or you can go and I'm, lo I love alternatives. I love giving you people more than one option. And that's why I'm gonna go to the Steam website and install it the website way because it will make sure you have the latest package and if you have tried to install Steam with the with the I will just open up of Kidabi it's a very small package and if you try to install it and some and your I can just blink it doesn't work just hold on I will show you how to fix it also so type in your password because I will most probably get into the same problem where you can't log in I'm just gonna tick this box oh it's already done it's a very small package but the big package is coming soon <laughs> so now let's close the browser Let's go to games. As you can see, Steam is here. I'm gonna please read for everything if you want to. Of course, you have to accept. And now it will want to install some packages. This I'm running this in VirtualBox with an press enter to confirm with an. AMD processor, I, yesterday I tried to install it on my Intel based processor also in the VirtualBox machine and it went well similar so far so I don't think it matter what type of processor you got, both is quite old version so it's not the latest by any means. But it's nice that I can test it out with AMD and as well as with Intel. So I'm gonna fast forward this part with we can just wait for the job to get done, we don't have to do anything and I will see you soon. Wonderful, now we have to press return enter to continue, so I'm pressing enter and now it might look like nothing is happening. If you click on the icon, nothing. So now we will open up a terminal and try to load it from a terminal. If it doesn't open up in a while, I'm pretty sure it won't. So, then you type in Steam and press enter. This will try to launch Steam from your terminal. That's it, nothing else. And if it can't, like here, yeah, it gives us an error. And then we're gonna copy this error and we're gonna do something with is absolutely crazy. We're gonna Google it. I'm just gonna paste it into our. I prefer to Google it or just type in Ask Ubuntu. Of course, the forums in Ask Ubuntu have already fixed it and I know they have the right answers. As you can see, same problem, and this guy say, I just run this, so, and that's what absolutely works, so then we just copy this command, so, if you get also an error here, something else doesn't matter, just copy the error, either send it to me, and then I will Google it for you, or Google it yourself, and just press enter. Don't worry about what I have writing. And let me copy. All you have to do is to copy paste. So, that's basically it. So let's see if we can start Steam now. And if it doesn't work, we will just try to open up with terminal again. That's always fun, eh? 
So let's try to st open up Steam again. As you can see, that first one did not work. Let's go away from your research straight to Google. And paste into a terminal. Now into our Google search and let's take this one right here. This is similar. This is too much stuff to do. So let's try this one more time. Because people is really like, this is the way to do it. So I'm gonna press Ctrl C to stop this command because it doesn't work and we can just, this looks much better as you can see. So the first one we tried didn't really work well. That's the choice of not cutting things out but do it real that you can see it's possible. So that's all. So now we're gonna close the terminal. I'm gonna full on believe this is correct now and it will just launch. Yay! So now it's gonna run this update, download a huge package and after this is done it will go through a few more things but I will fast forward it until we have to do something to continue the step. See you soon. And as you can see the download is just finished and now we are busy extracting the package so everything is still going well as we hope and it takes some time but that's okay. So I'm gonna fast forward again. And as you can see everything is clean and nothing seems to be going on. And it's time to stress, but actually it's not needed and I didn't fast forward the, the last time when I just spoke because it was just a few seconds and as you can see it's going well. It is where we want to be, in a place of movement, in a place of progress. And... Steam should open up any second now, and then you can just log in and enjoy your games. Let's hope it actually works. Because otherwise we've got some more troubleshooting and I don't hope we have. <laughs> So yeah, this is always fun. <laughs> Let's try to click on it again. I don't think it's needed, but okay, maybe it was needed. <laughs> So now it's just gonna update Steam. It should not download more packages. It should just do the last touches and things and then we can go with it. We hope. I said there at the end quickly, I don't know if you noticed it, launching Steam, so we really hope it will launch any second now. 
Let's try to click on it again. There we go. The Steam is successfully installed and you can go ahead and enjoy it. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.